So let's turn off the update that is done by CapCut itself without your permission. So you can see I have installed it just the older version and it just keep pushing version to latest one. So now we need to block update right now. So first close this CapCut and uninstall this. You can use app. You can use add or remove program to so just add a remove program. Find your CapCut. And simply uninstall this. Click on yes. And do not keep user data. Just destroy them and click on OK. So complete. I go to CapCut up down. And then you can pick any version that you wanted to. So I'm going with 2.5.4. So I've just downloaded this. Yeah many bunch of them so i'm just going to use this one and I agree with CapCut and install this and yeah do not start now so just close this button and then you will need to open up the folder so open up the folder here go to this pc go to c drive scroll down until you find users Tap on your name and click double click to your name. Go to app data, local, find CapCut here. And you will need to focus on the folder, which is apps and user data. So first go to user data. Then here, create a folder. Name this as download. And make sure the letters are in case sensitive. Make sure the D is in capital. And then open up the download folder and create the text document here. Simply rename this as update. And in extension, you need to give this as exe. So if you can't give extension like exe, you need to click on this view button. So and make sure that file name extension is checked. If you don't, you can see that you are not able to. Uh, input the exe so check this and there we go and then right click here and go to properties and make sure that you have put this attributes only read only and then click and apply version okay you can copy this go back once again go back then go to apps then paste this update here as well so that's it guys now from now on CapCut won't be able to update without your permission so let's open up the CapCut and there we go and press and confirm and you can see you will only see this important update require which means nothing for you so just close this pop-up dialog box click on setting and check this version so this is what we install and CapCut will never ever able to update this we relaunch the cap code once again and there you go guys this is how it should look like and it's working perfectly fine you can create projects and now on work on and do whatever you like thanks so much for watching see you guys in the next video peace